So we want to represent the function natural log of the quantity 1 plus x as a power series. Well, we basically know our power series is the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of u to the n, and that equals the function 1 over 1 minus u. So how can we connect that to natural log of 1 plus x? Well, if we took the derivative of the natural log of 1 plus x, we would get 1 over 1 plus x. And we could express that as 1 over 1 minus a minus x. And then we could express that as a power series. So basically, if we had this natural log, that's going to equal the integral of this function and so integrating this function. And so let's go ahead and express the power series for this function. That would be the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative x to the n. And if we were to write out those terms just to kind of see what we we're looking at here, if we put in 0 we get out 1, and we put in 1 we get out negative x plus x squared minus x cubed and so forth. And if we integrated this term by term, we would get x minus one half x plus one third x cubed minus one fourth x to the fourth and so forth. So as we integrate this, we could express this as this would be the power series. So we have n going from, we actually want to get x here, so we're going to let it go from one to infinity and we are going to have, oops I didn't get the squared on that one, we're going to have x to the n and it's going to be over n but we need a negative 1 to the n minus 1. That way when we put a 1 in here we get out x over 1 or x. When we put a 2 in here we get a negative 1 multiplied by x to the 2 over 2 and so forth. So this would be the power series that represents the natural log of 1 plus x because it is essentially equal to the integral of 1 over 1 minus u here. Now one detail with this is typically when we integrate we have plus a constant of integration. Could there have been a constant on there then that we needed to express? But actually if we take and evaluate this function at 0, we have the natural log of 1 which is 0. So we are okay because our constant of integration here is 0. So let's go ahead and express our first five coefficients. So our C0 was 0. C1 is 1. We've already actually got them written there. C2 is minus 1 half. C3 is 1 third. And C4 is minus 1 fourth. Now our radius of convergence is the same for power series and integration of power series. And so the absolute value of u has to be less than 1. And in our case, that u was negative x. And so our radius of convergence is still 1.